Alright, I just got this in today. It's a 32 inch Hunter ceiling fan. The model name was Bath and Dressing Room. And, um, the light is not original, it's one that I added. And, um, it's a really cool fan for being 32 inches. I mean, it's pretty powerful. Um, you know, it's a Hunter, and it's got a 153 by 12 motor in it. And, um, 32 inch plywood blades. So, you know, how those. And, um, it runs really well. It's got a good, powerful high speed. And then medium and low are kind of slower. Well, I mean, obviously they're slower, but they're like really slow. So, you know. But it works very well. It has a slight wobble to it. Not so much. I mean, it's it's flush mounted. It's not on a down rod. So you're really not going to be able to see the wobble. But, um, you'll hear it shaking around. And that's also because it's on a box that's screwed to hollow metal framing. You know, this stuff. <clears throat> It's not the most stable in the world, but it works. So anyway. It carries the sound. But, um, you know, the light works. That's the light that I had before. It's a turtle fitter. And yeah, incandescent bulbs. What you gonna do? I don't have any extra CFLs. Um, and you know, I mean, at first I didn't really like it, but I think it's kind of goes with the fan. Obviously, you know, I think that a, a big globe would go best. Like a big one, not a little one. Obviously, a little one might work too, I don't know. I don't have any spare two inch fitters. Um, you know, I guess I can get a socket for this one. The socket's torn out. But, um, like a two and a half or two inch fitter, however big this one is. The kind you find on metal things. And then I get a small globe for it. But I don't know. I got this from Nick M at the DT forums. And um, it was installed in a rental house that his parents own in the master bedroom, actually. And that met, he said the master bedroom is 20 by 20. And obviously, this is a small fan. So it wouldn't really go good in a fan or in a room that big. But um, when it was installed, he showed a picture of it, and it had a big round globe on it, and I think it looked pretty good. So you know, but this it's all right too. Anyway, you want to see it run? I know you do. So. It's significantly quieter on medium. 
running significantly slower. But it's still putting out a fair breeze, I must say. And then, of course, low. Traditional hunter low speed. Just a nice casual spin. And even still, I can still feel air movement. So, I mean, that's pretty decent, I will say. Pretty decent indeed. Now, um, Sean Brown has one of these little Hunter Bath and Vanity fans, and he really likes his as well, and I can see why, because it's a good, decent runner. Um, I just wish I had a place that I could install it. I mean, like I said, I can put it in the laundry room, but I like the fan that's in there right now, so I don't know if I'll do that. But we'll see. I'll find a place. For sure. And then, of course, off. And it's reversible. Reverse functions. noise, probably these shades. I didn't tighten them with a screwdriver or anything. Just my hands, so they're probably a little loose. But I'm really impressed with how, um, or I should say, I'm really impressed with the difference between high and medium. There are some fans where there's not that big a difference at all. But, uh, this is definitely And then low on reverse, updraft mode. But yeah, I really do. I like this fan a lot. You know me and the small guys. I just have a thing for them. Oops. Hit the blinds on the door behind me here. My bad. But yeah, I do like these little small guys. And um, this is a very good fan. Um, when I started doing the DT galleries and... Sean gave me the picture of his. I was like, holy crap, I want one of those. They like the small little guys, and Hunter, you know, has theirs, and I wanted it, and I have it, and it's really great. Really, really great. So thank you, Nick, and thank you, everyone else, for watching. And I hope you enjoyed.